Yo, what's good? It's Mastermind MMA, and I just finished watching the UFC 200 press conference, the one um held in Madison Square Garden. Uh, it it was live streamed at two o'clock. Uh, I, I missed the live stream, but I, I caught it right after. Um, you know, uh, where should I start? Obviously, uh. Well, before I even get into it, um, I did a video about UFC 200 announcement, Jones Cormier 2. Um, I, I talked about a lot of different things in that, so you guys could go check that out. Now, into the press conference. Daniel Cormier needs to stop. He needs to stop talking shit um, for the main reason... That he's just not good at it. You know, um, he, the the best things he had to say was he's an addict and shit like that. And that, sh- that shit's a low blow. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't rock with it. I don't find that to be good shit talking. I just find that as, as someone just trying to be malicious. You know what I mean? And. Um, it, it, it doesn't hold anything to any entertainment factor, in my opinion. Um, by that logic, you call him an addict, but he was, he was still, he whooped your ass when he tested dirty for doing a little blow. So what, what does that guy do with shit? You know, DC doesn't have any angles. He doesn't, he, he even brought up. Before John can even bring it up, he's like, oh, you made me cry. Yeah, you made me cry. Like, what was... It just makes no sense. Like, what do what you... That's not even getting ahead of anything. You're just kind of really dissing yourself. He He's not good at it. You could tell, Um, you know, just analyzing DC's personality. He um He's not clever. He's not intelligent, but... He, he seems like um, he's the kind of guy that in his head he thinks he is clever and he thinks he is a good shit talker. Otherwise, he wouldn't even really attempt it. Nothing much he could say. You're a bum. Bum Jones. You're a bum. You're a bum. You're a bum. That's all he was saying. And it's like, um, well, uh, in my opinion... I would consider the bum being the person who pulled out of the fight and was sitting octagon side doing color commentary. That's just my opinion. You guys don't have to agree with it, but that's how I feel. And um, DC, as in, in true DC fashion, got welcomed by, you know, um, I, I want to figure out how to say this beautifully, uh, a cacophony of booze as he is now accustomed to because at the unstoppable press conference it was out in vegas and same shit you know what i mean he he can't even do that um the oh it's his hometown bro you're getting booed on the west and east coast fairly unanimous people don't like you and it's it's really nothing against him but it's the fact of he's posing with the belt and he, and he treats and he keeps trying to say oh he's an idiot john jones is an idiot who got himself uh eliminated from competition well whatever he's back he fought you can't even say when was your last fight oh yeah against me nah he fought OSP DC even said oh um OSP wouldn't make it out of out of two rounds with me um maybe that could be the case maybe it wouldn't be the case but you didn't fight OSP the only reason OSP was in there fighting was because you pulled out. Now, I, I told you guys I don't have a problem with fighters pulling out. Um, 
shit, I could even I could even see DC's reasoning for him pulling out. He knows he has to be at 100%. He's not at 100%. You know, his best shot is him being at his best. And um, he acknowledged that. So, you know, uh, I, I don't have problems with that. You know, you... Do I believe it? Do I think he got hurt? Uh, I don't... Uh, I'm not even going to go on to speak on that. But... For him to be at the event, for him to be octagon side, for him to invite OSP to come out and train with him and then continually put down OSP to continually talk shit about OSP and to continually try and try and fucking write OSP off as as a tune-up fight as a as not a player when he's in the top 10 he's actually close to the top five he's ranked number six in the world in the light heavyweight division he went the same exact time in the cage with john jones that you did he went 25 minutes with jones you went 25 minutes with jones and guess what? OSP wasn't crying after his loss. OSP was in there with a broken arm. OSP went as far with John Jones as you did with a broken arm. And for you to just blatantly disrespect that man when he stepped up to the plate, when, you know, this was his 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 big shot... Not not saying that um, he would have worked his way up to a title shot. That's a possibility. So, I mean, he took the chance he had to take get a title shot right now. And, and in my opinion, um, OSP got big exposure. People are talking about him that usually wouldn't be talking about him. He went from fighting a guy who got cut from the promotion to fighting the pound-for-pound number one fighter in the promotion. So, for him to step up and take that fight on three weeks' notice, and for him to survive that fight, and for him to stay in there with a broken arm, those are all commendable traits. Those are all those are all admirable things. And for him to try and downplay it and use use OSP as a scapegoat and and disrespect OSP, that shit's fucked up. And and um he DC even said uh oh OSP, uh, I mean, not OSP, oh, um, Alexander Gustafson, as soon as he fought John, he was clamoring for a rematch, but he never asked to rematch me. Like, like, he put such a, such a, a beating on Alexander Gustafson. Um, real quick. He doesn't want to fight you again because what would be the fucking point? And you know what? Gus was rooting for DC and and talking a whole bunch of shit about DC. I mean, um, about Jones and talking like, oh, DC's a good champion and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Which is that just makes from my perspective, it it seems like he's bitter you know Gus is bitter and um I'm not too sure um but I believe that the rematch was set up that it was supposed to be Jones Gustafson too but Gustafson got injured and that's where Daniel Cormier came into play um I believe that's what it is I believe I got that right um, but, you know, uh, DC, it's just, 
you know the 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 build up and and the talk is fun. I had there is a lot of moments where I was just like laughing and enjoying the shit talk on John Jones's behalf. But when it came to DC, it's like it, it, he he just plays himself out. You know, um especially that he lost to John, man, in a unanimous decision. Fight wasn't cl- He even, so, in the first fight, John Jones um got his foot. And, you know, the very famous highlight reel takedown. Where he just fucking grabbed his foot. DC was hopping around and he swept his foot and he slammed on the canvas. I believe that was the first takedown within seconds of the match. And, and DC's trying to say, oh, I slipped. And then, and then he, uh, he says, uh, and then Jones was like, bro, Gustafson took you down like fucking three times. And then, and then, and then later, not even a, an immediate rebuttal, but later DC's like, oh yeah, you know, uh, in the Gustafson fight, I realized, uh, getting taken down doesn't even matter. Because they don't hold me down and yada, 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 yada. This is a guy who goes from priding himself in his uh, Olympic wrestling to saying it doesn't even matter. And saying he's going to hold John Jones down for 25 minutes. And um, real quick, I forgot to say this last video. But um, it was in my head and I guess I, uh, I got carried away with something else. But... The, and he even said he's gonna hold John Jones down. And if you guys remember when he was scheduled to fight John Jones at 197, he said he didn't want Herb Dean to be the referee because John Jones held him against the cage. And there was a lull in action, and Herb Dean allowed it, yada, 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 yada. But DC won the belt against Rumble by doing nothing but holding him against the cage. He held Frank Mir up against the cage. That's, you call yourself the king of the grind. And then you're gonna do, say, all that shit. You know what I mean? It's, it, it's very hypocritical. You're really down, you're, you're trying to put down the, the thing that made you, uh, uh, notable, you know, you're wrestling and, you know, um, you're not being honest and, and you, you sound like a fool. You know what I mean? Like he, he's trying to say, oh, um, you know, even with the John Jones, a bum Jones even said, bro, for 25 minutes, I got punched in the face twice. I got hit twice. That's it. And for for DC to uh, to be saying these things, I truly think DC needs to hire him some writers. He he needs to come into the press conference with a, a script, and um, he needs to memorize, and he needs to work out possible scenarios and possible rebuttals. Because he he is terrible at it. You know, his, his off the cuff, off the dome shit talking isn't, it's terrible, dude. You end up dissing yourself. And, and when he tries to be mean, he crosses the line. You know what I mean? Oh, you're an addict. You know, that's, that's very... That, that's a very isolating thing to say because you don't know how many people uh, struggle with substance abuse or people that that have to have to deal with that disease of addiction. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think John Jones is an addict at all. You know, um, from what I from what I gather, He's just a dude that likes to have fun. 
You know what I mean? He's just a guy that like like to fucking party. That's it. You know, it's when it when it comes to when it comes to the weed, bro. If you think like smoking marijuana and people that smoke marijuana are addicts and have issues, get the fuck off of my page. Get the fuck off of my channel. Get off. You're a fucking loser. If you think that way. You're a fucking square and a bitch if you think that way. And I'm mostly directing that towards DC, but... If you're a long, if you meet the guidelines and standards of being a bitch, then you most likely are a bitch. And this has nothing to do with any context of females or anything. Bitch assness. I'll say that. So for him to say that and, you know, I don't, I don't think Jones even has a cocaine problem and the thing is, it, it, he was that like if he's out in Hollywood, bro. There's so many fucking people that do blow in the entertainment industry. It's not even funny. It's not even fucking funny how many people do it. I don't, John, bro. John Jones doesn't seem like a fucking cokehead. If you've seen cokeheads, you would know who people are that do it. And. I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm not calling. I'm not saying anything about Dana White, but I'm pretty sure I'm I'm willing to put a good amount of the money that he's at least done it two to three times. I'm not saying anything about Dana White or his character, but when you operate in that realm of either celebrity or when you're operating in that realm of money, these things are very common. And I, I know John Jones came out and said, yeah, I realized I was addicted to marijuana and all that. And I realized I do have a, I had a drug problem. Listen, caffeine is a motherfucking drug. If you can't go to work in the morning and if you can't, if you can't, start your day without coffee you could even spin that as a drug because caffeine is when it breaks down on a molecular level it's an amphetamine amphetamines are you know caffeine and the molecular structure it's very similar to speed you know people with ADD they take that they take Adderall and um, Ritalin Those are all amphetamines. When you look at them, molecularly, they're very similar. They look very much the same. And, you know, all cocaine really does is it just floods the, it just blocks the receptor. So um, when, when dopamine is released, the dopamine gets collected and that just creates a euphoric feeling. So when you see people try to use certain buzzwords to to add malicious intent to things. And it's 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 you're only going to fool people that don't know their shit. You're only going to fool people that don't have knowledge. And if you're spewing that kind of bullshit, odds are you're one of the people that are uninformed. Because for all you guys who don't know, marijuana, the active chemical is THC. I'm sure many people have heard of it. But what the THC does in the receptor, it releases, it actually, there's series of receptors in your brain. And yes, I'm getting into neurology right now, just to educate people. Because I'm not just saying things unfoundedly. What it does is it goes into series of receptors. They're called the 5-hydroxyltryptamine receptors. And, and um, tryptamine is, is uh, a, bri- a byproduct of tryptophan. And tryptophan is based off of building blocks of proteins. So basically all it is is just a different variation of proteins. And 
what happens, it's like a lock and key. So when you smoke, it puts in the the key to the lock and what it releases is serotonin. Now, serotonin is the, for, how can I say it? It's the next, it's the next part of melatonin. And melatonin is the chemical that's released when you're sleeping. And the way our body creates melatonin is from the receptors in our eyes. It takes it from the sunlight and the the ultraviolet rays. It breaks it down into mel and, and converts it into melatonin. And then melatonin gets converted into serotonin. And serotonin Basically, it's just the it, it in simple fact in in a, in a simple terms, it's the chemical that makes you happy. When you look at it, marijuana is much safer and much more of a of a how do I say? It? You you could just you could you could smoke and fucking do anything. But you can't, you know, drinking is, if if you're going to say, alcohol is more of a drug than marijuana is, but it's just a perception issue within society. So, you know, that's, that's really unfounded things that he's trying to say, John is an addict, yada, yada, yada. So, uh... You know, I just kind of fucking nerded out a little bit, but I wanted to explain it and I wanted to explain it to people to understand that I, um, I'm not just discounting what DC's saying for discounting sake or I'm, I'm a total, uh, John Jones stan that I'm not any, he can do no wrong. No, I'm just trying to lay down the facts and then based off of facts is how I'm forming my opinion. I'd like to think that I'm I'm fairly objective. So you know um uh that that's my piece on that. I just had to get that out there. So for for DC to pull that attic bullshit, DC fuck you. Um for DC to 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 even just Try and talk the shit he was talking. Uh Uh-uh. You know, you need to be more clever. You need to be, uh... You you need to be more realistic. And, you know, instead of... Instead of going after people, just talk about yourself. Talk about how you improve. Talk about that you basically worked your way up. Back to fight John Jones. You know... Maybe not call your belt the legitimate belt. Maybe acknowledge it. Because if DC keeps going down this trajectory, he's setting himself up for for a bigger a bigger ditch for when he loses. And I say for when, I'm mean, it's it's MMA. Anything can happen. But odds are John Jones is going to win again. Odds are John Jones is going to win in much more dominating fashion in the first one. Odds are John Jones is going to get the finish. This is John Jones's first rematch. So this is going to be John Jones already knowing his opponent along with studying this opponent and drilling techniques custom made for this opponent for close to a fucking year. It's got to be at least eight, nine months. So if DC was just more honest, he could get more fans on his side. Because when he when he loses, it's not going to be good for him. It is not going to be good for him. And at least and if DC, DC has nowhere to go in the sense of he doesn't want to go back up to heavyweight because that's Kane's division. 
185, Luke Rock holds the champ. And if you have two losses against the champ in your division, you're in a Joseph Benavidez position. Except Joseph Benavidez and Mighty Mouse have great respect for each other. This is a bitter rivalry in the sport. And if you get that ass whooped twice, you're stuck as the number one contender in that division. And I da- and if there is going to be a trilogy, he's going to have to work damn hard for that trilogy. And, you know, a trilogy off of two losses. He's going to have to clear out everyone underneath him. And he's 37 years old. So how active can you be? And how you know what I mean? Like, it's it, it, it's not good. You know, you're kind of setting yourself up to not even have fan support after this. You know, and every time I see of late. Anytime I see anything about DC, it just tur- it's just worse, man. It it doesn't make me it doesn't make me like him. It makes me dislike him even more and lose respect for him. You know, it's you guys could watch my videos. I give credit to DC when he's honest. But that literally has only been one time really out of this entire build up from the defeat. So it's it's annoying at this point. Very entertaining because John Jones's rebuttals are amazing. But if if you look at it from just what DC is saying, it's it's fucking annoying. The fact of the entertainment is John Jones responding to it. This is just my opinion. And you know, uh, I got nothing personal against DC, but Boy, is it fucking hard to like the guy. It, it it It's really fucking hard, man. He makes it difficult. If you're a Daniel Cormier fan, I feel bad for you. Because he's not doing you guys any favor. If he was acknowledging, listen, I need to beat John to legitimize my belt. I know the task I have in front of me. And, you know, there there are moments where he bigs John up. He bigs him up, and then, and it's like, oh, you know, I can respect that. This guy's being honest. And then he just says some shit that's just like, dude, come on. You know, um, Frankie Aldo, uh, they were they were fairly respectful. Um, Dana White addressed the Connor thing. Um, nothing really new. You know, it's just he didn't do the PR. That's why. And uh, Misha and Amanda were getting a little feisty, um, you know, uh, that that's good. I feel like the buildup between them is going to get a little more intense and then that's going to sell the fight more. But um, we all know, we all know that this is between Jones and Cormier, man, they're, they're, this is fairly an unnecessary fight, you know, if if Dana White was like, all right, um, John Jones is back. He gets reinstated his belt. He's the champion, never lost the belt. But it doesn't work like that. So he has to fight DC again. And um, DC is, is, is not helping anybody. He's not, he's not helping himself. He's... He's getting booed wherever the fuck he is. And um, if I was in that crowd, I'd be booing the shit out of him, too. And again, this is nothing personal against DC. This is just an opinion that I'm taking away from what I'm seeing. You know what I mean? Uh, Gave you guys a little science lesson. That's right, bitches. I'm smart. No, I'm kidding. But um. Uh, that that was totally a joke, but you know, I, I, I do, I do my research. I, I do know these things on uh, a chemically, a chemical level. Um, I'm a, I was, I'm a bio major in college, you know? So, um, 
you know, you're kind of forced to know all this shit. And, and not even that, but, you know, it kind of teaches you the baseline. But, you know, um, to be quite honest with you, you know, in this day and age, college really doesn't mean shit because everything's out there on the Internet. Everything I learned about that was on my own independent research. But, you know, because of the background of school, it just helped me understand understand it more because I was forced to. But, you know, you can't just just throw things around and, and we have to be careful as spectators of buzzwords like drug drugs. You know, many things can be considered drugs. So for for D.C. to to spin the attic route. Uh, you're just fucking yourself over because people that like to have fun and do things have, have, have experienced and dealt with people like DC that are ignorant. That's nothing but pure ignorance. You know what I mean? To, to pride yourself on sobriety and that you don't do things that other people do. So what? That's your choice. Good for you. But for you to to try and and use that to elevate yourself and put yourself on a pedestal and that you're better than someone else because of that. I have two words for you. Fuck you. Eh, Three words. Fuck you, Daniel. So that's a very ignorant standpoint. He's showing his ignorance He's showing his lack of intelligence and his his lack of a better word, man. His fucking corny shit talking. You know, um, I would rather DC be honest. It'll definitely have more people on his side. I'm saying this for DC's sake, man. You should really... Be more honest and just try and and have as many fans as you can after this. You know, you should be looking past this in the sense of, you know what you got cut out ahead of you. So you should really be, be setting a fucking cushion for your landing. Right now, he he's landing on straight concrete. And to be honest, it might be too far gone at this point. He might just have to stick to the shitty shit talk. And John Jones, man, I've always liked John Jones, but now I find John Jones so much more relatable because you could always see the glimpses of the chillness. But you know what I mean? It's like um, like you at work. You can't be who you are at, at, at work fully. You need to add professionalism. But within the entertainment realm, you have that leeway of really being yourself. So the, the fact that John Jones is truly more of himself, it just makes me a bigger fan of him. It makes me find him more relatable. You know, he, he's like, he's like a, he's like the big homie now. You know what I mean? I've always seen him that way, but like now it's like, yo, I could definitely see me. He, like, he's the type of dude people would chill with, you know what I mean? Like, you know, real recognizes real. That's a cliche saying, but it's, it's true for a reason. And, and, uh, you know, John Jones is coming off as the cool guy and DC is just making himself appear to be cornier and cornier. And I'm not calling DC corny. Yes, I am. But for the, for the sake of the statement, I'm not calling him corny. For the sake of calling him corny, I'm calling him corny based off of the shit he's saying. That's my take on it, man. You guys could agree with it. You guys could disagree with it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, Subscribe if you fuck with the channel. You already know. It's Mastermind MMA.